Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in to yet another Hanging With Heavy video. Hey, today's video, if you've been following along on blueprint reading for welders and metal fabricators, today our, blue, our print reading class is going to be pretty basic. It's going to be chamfers and bevels. And that's something that you're going to definitely encounter into the uh, welding world. And if you're working on your power hammer build, you're going to notice that some places on there on our print definitely call for you to chamfer or bevel certain parts. So you want to make sure that you follow that. And why, why do we chamfer or bevel? Well, for one thing, it might allow a part to fit into an area that it, maybe if it was just cut square, it wouldn't fit into. But for the most part, it's to allow us to have a, a better weld deposit and better penetration. So today, short video on chamfers and bevels. All right, guys and gals, let's take a look here. Parts with chamfers and bevels, well, they're commonly found on a prints for welders, and, and there's certain ways to dimension them, I don't mind telling you. Some of them can be angular dimensions, some of them can be fractional dimensions. The trick is to be able to determine what it is they're asking for, and then be able to produce that. Um, one, co one common way is to use a note with a leader. You might notice some of that going on. The amount of a chamfer or bevel is given in a linear or maybe even a degree dimension. Figures um, of like 45 or 3 8 by 3 8 are not uncommon. Notice the difference between a chamfer and a bevel as we take a look up here. This is known as a chamfer. Notice that it says 3 8 by 45. Now the material is one inch thick. So that would be 3 8 of an inch over and 3 8 of an inch down cutting the chamfer. Notice when we cut a chamfer that we sometimes that we will be leaving a flat spot. This in the pipe fitting world we call this a landing and in the welding world we call this a landing. So keep that in mind. You, you're going to have your chamfer 3 8 by 45 and then this may be dimensioned or may not. The reason why it may not be dimensioned, because if you follow this, this is going to happen anyhow. So it's not like we're trying to fit to the, to the landing, we're trying to fit to the chamfer. Now let's take a look at a bevel. A bevel is more than likely going to be um, spoken of in the terms of an angle, like 45 degree bevel. Okay. So in this case, we have a 45 degree bevel. It doesn't matter if this is one inch thick. We know that we're going to be cutting a one inch off this end here, making it a 45. Now, a 45 degree bevel is, is pretty common in the welding world. 22 and a half is very common. 33 and a third or 33 degrees is also very common. And in the pipe welding world, um, this one here is the one that you're going to be encountering mostly. But let's take a look at another thing here I want to talk about for a little bit today, and that's called a radius. And you're going to be seeing radiuses on some of your uh, prints for sure. So let's take a look here and we're going to talk a little bit about a, a radius, arc and dimension. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look here. Radius, arc, dimensions. Now generally these are going to be in um, whole numbers, like inch and three quarters, something of that nature. In this case I've used three quarters of an inch radius. Let's take a look at this for just a second. Now if you've worked in a shipyard, you may have seen something like this for an access hatch. Um, if you work in a fabrication shop, you may have seen something like this for a slot weld. But let's take a look here. Number one, this distance here to here would be dimension. And whether it's six inches, eight inches, or 20 inches, that really doesn't matter to us. What matters to us is this three quarter inch radius dimension. And notice that it occurs in two places. If this is three quarters of an inch, this is called your um, radius, not your diameter. The diameter would be two times the radius. So this would be inch and a half across here. This would be, you would set your dividers or your measuring device at three quarters of an inch, and then you would draw this arc. And that's going to help you to um, make a nice smooth, nice arc, a nice, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? A nice contour for welding. 
you can imagine if this was square and you had to and you had to fill it up, it would be kind of difficult. But this way here, we're able to weld right around the whole thing and get a good weld. So radiuses and dimensions right here, chamfer, bevels, and dimensions. All right, I want to talk to you for just a second here about something that I think is pretty important. You're on the way to becoming a, a, a welder. You want to be a welder. And, and so far you've been following along with Hangwood Heavy and you've been reading some prints and, and you've been watching my, um, my sections on uh, blueprint reading for welders and also welding symbols and things of that nature. So if you've been following along, you've been doing pretty good. We've also been building a power hammer in here, which is on hold right now due to a medical reason on my part. But um, I want you all to think about something here. With this knowledge comes a little bit of power. And if you're working with your buddy in the shop and he's not following hanging with heavy, then you know and I know that maybe he's not getting all the knowledge that he's going to need for this particular job. All right, YouTube. Well, that wraps up our little uh, lesson on chamfers and bevels. Very quick one today. I want you to be, take into account, though, that whenever you are doing a grinding or you're preparing a chamfer or a bevel, whether you're using a torch or whether you're using the um, grinder, that you do prepare the bevel in accordance with the welding procedure specification or the print that it's called on. So we got a little bit of something, something going on here today chamfers and dimensions. Hey, you know what we're going to talk about next though? Bill of materials. Because if there's one thing I hate is whenever somebody shows up at my shop and they want me to build something for them and they have a bill of material that goes, well, angle, and they don't have any idea about what size or what dimension they want. So hang with Heve as we cover bill of materials in our next video. And huh, you know what I want you to do, right? I want you to like, share, and subscribe, and reach over there and hit that little subscribe bell so people will know, so you will know every time I come out with a new video that you'll be able to follow up on uh, the one previous. So I hope you're hanging with Heve, and you know what? You know where I want to catch you. I want you to like, share, subscribe for me, but I want to catch you out in the shop.